Hello, my name is Richard Cronice, and this is another episode in Dad's Learning Videos. Uh, I'm happy to report that I'm losing weight once again, and will look like this quite soon. But let's get to our lesson for today. Uh, today we're talking about PMBOK processes, and it's page 43. Before I begin, just let me explain who I am. My name is Richard Cronice. I am a business analyst, project manager, and SharePoint evangelist in Chicago, Illinois. I am a trainer of 10,000 people in the classroom, but all that matters is whether I teach you successfully today. At the end of this, if you're interested in linking with me on LinkedIn, I'd be delighted. And currently, my focus is passing the PMP and Microsoft SharePoint. But let's start talking about what you're going to learn for today. We're talking about PMBOK and page 43. If you're studying for uh, the PMP, the Project Manager Professional, you already know about the PMBOK book and page 43. There are 42 processes that are part of project management and you need to know every single one of them and where they fit into the project management process. And if you're like me, uh, your wife probably says, what are you doing? Are you memorizing the processes again? Or if uh, perhaps you're a lady memorizing it and your husband or loved one says it. So how do you learn it? Well. I've used Excel uh, to learn PMBOK and page 43. For me, Excel is an old friend. I use it all the time, and it's my universal software tool. So I'd like to show you my method for learning PMBOK page 43. I'll explain a few learning tricks, and you can build it on your own. So let's take a visit over to my Excel spreadsheet. You can build this uh, with Word, but I think it might be a little bit harder. Uh, I tend to prefer using Excel. And this pretty much looks like page 43 in PMBOK. Uh, you can see that you've got the uh, one, two, three, four, five process groups going across. And on the left side, you've got integration, scope, time, and so forth. The nine knowledge areas going down there. Basically, this is part of the brain dump for page 43. Uh, you have everyone has different ways of doing this. Some new friends of mine use the 965-633-4564 learning acronym, which means you've got nine knowledge areas, and that going downwards, you've got 6, 5, 6, 333, whoops, missed, uh, 334 actually, 334, and then 564. Uh, basically, I just memorized that the 9 or the 656, 633, 4564. So what I do is I, I create a blank sheet of paper and I rapidly create my columns. And so basically, it's about a, a 9 by 5 or maybe a 10 by 6. You have to learn how to do this on a piece of paper. But what, where it becomes really useful is that um, I have different learning acronyms. Right now, I'm closing my eyes and I can think IST. CQHCRP, and I know that I rapidly write that down on the side. I don't even write down integration or scope. I just use I and S. And I know that going through the t going left to right across the top, this with my eyes closed, I know that it is initiation, planning, execute, monitor, control, and closing. So I know what it is going across the top. What I think is really useful is, is learning the numbers going down the side and learning the numbers going across. You certainly need to know that for initiating it's 2, planning is 20, executing is 8, uh, monitoring control 10, and closing is 2. If you don't know that, you better start learning it. So you begin to learn the 9 and the 5, and part of my learning acronym is going across. I know that within planning, uh, I had difficulty learning this, and who doesn't? It's 20 different processes. So I came up with the learning acronym. It's not an acronym, it's just something you have to learn. STR355, and then I rapidly type in CDC DCED PIQQP. And what does it mean? It means that uh, S is going to be CDC, collect requirements, define scope, create WBS. I know that time will be DSEED, and I know what that means. And I also know that risk is PIQQP. So the learning acronym for planning is STR355 CDC DCED PIQQP. And then for executing, I know that it, uh, the main topics are ADM and DM, which means ADM is for acquire, develop, and manage project teams, and communications, it's distribute and manage. So you begin to learn these going across. 
Um, my final one, uh, the note that I write down on a blank piece of paper whenever I start, is that I need to know uh, MIVC, which means that the very first thing in integration is monitor control, integrate, and change control. And scope is VC, verify scope and control scope. So those are some of the things that I learned. And, and this is part of the brain dump that should be done in 15 minutes, which will include your formulas. So I have this down to about 12 minutes now. I leisurely can write all this stuff down. But you have to be able to do it from a blank piece of paper. So you can use this in Excel. You can build this in Excel. I could give this to you in Excel. But the problem with that is that in the process of building this, you actually learn and memorize different things. And it's so amazing. Once you begin to learn the processes and know it cold, you, when you're reading your study materials, you can almost see it on the chart and know where it relates. So I recommend using Excel and using this learning acronym over here, uh, learning how to do IST, CQ, H, CRP from heart, and learning how to do the five going across. And I definitely recommend these learning acronyms. What I do is I print this whole sheet on a piece of paper, put it in my pocket. Anytime that I'm bored, I can pull it out to study it. Now, since I've memorized it, I no longer do it. But every morning uh, after I wake up with a bit of coffee, since I'm in the study mode for my PMP, I write this down to the amusement to my wife. I, uh, I write this down on a piece of paper. So let's return to our learning objectives. I hope that I've explained Excel and Pinbach and page 43 and a way to learn it. Uh, this has been Dad's Learning Videos. I hope you had fun. I do this because I enjoy it. It's also a part of unique branding for me that my name is Richard Cronice, and that's pretty unique. It's th I'm the only Richard Cronice in the U.S. or anywhere to my knowledge. And I welcome your LinkedIn inquiries. Once again, uh, I'm a business analyst, project manager, and SharePoint evangelist. Uh, but most, most importantly, I hope that you've enjoyed visiting this and that you've learned something about Excel and Pinbach, page 43. Have a great day. Thanks for visiting. Drop on by another time.